Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the blocker sleeve. Hey, they sent it to me. I absolutely love it. They're packaging. I love what they sent it in. I already opened up, so it's not gonna be an unboxing video. It's gonna be more like an unbagging video. Let's get into it. So here, they send you the actual, this is the actual blocker sleeve. It's a Paddington pending design. It says uh, reaction training for goalies. And it's by an NHL goalie coach by the name of Marco. Here is the blocker sleeve. I absolutely love this product. When it came out a couple years ago, and I saw all the videos of, with uh, Marc Andre Fleury and Jonathan Bernier using them at, at Marco's camp, I absolutely wanted this. But I never had the chance to, to buy it. So I want to say thank you for them to send, sending me their product. I use it a bunch of times with uh, my off-ice uh, hand-eye coordination training sessions and even like before my workouts or even in between my workouts. I love their design. The colors are great. They're very clever for um, having this uh, this piece over the actual buckle part. So you don't get any like hair or any gunky stuff all over it. So it stays super uh, clean. And this piece is just like the cover piece that you put over it. I love it how they give you this uh, this bag where you can put the blocker sleeve itself in it. All the balls that it comes with. It comes with uh, four tennis balls. I don't know if they're regular tennis balls or they're like special the way that they made them. I haven't tried it with uh, a regular tennis ball. If it would stick onto the Velcro or not. So yeah, I only have three in the bag. One's probably downstairs, so it comes with four. Four tennis balls. Then it comes with like these uh, these racket balls. They're a little bit harder. They bounce really well. They, you throw it off a wall, they're just gonna come back real fast. Just simulate like a harder shot. So here's my uh, CCM Premier uh, 2 blocker. We're gonna put it on. You just wanna un unclip this. Then if you put it at the top first, the mesh material, the top piece then, and the bottom one just goes on very, very easy. Like that, they have this uh, clip that you put on. I'm just gonna feed it through uh, the palm of my blocker, have a nice secure on it. Then this strap is just gonna be on the palm right here. It feels like it's not even there. Usually I just hold it like that so nothing's in the way. When you use it, you're gonna wanna peel it off. Then you start making saves, so throw it off the wall. You see how it just sticks right away. You're not gonna go crazy you won't go crazy around everywhere trying to chase a ball. That's what I like about this product. It's not like a reaction ball. If you don't catch, it's gonna bounce all over the place. If you hit it, it's gonna stick. But if you hit it like on the side, and if you're not precisely uh, making that blocker save where you want it, it's gonna. There's chances of it's gonna fall off if you if you're not making that save right. But even so, so the reason why I. I absolutely love this product it's because first of all like I said you don't need to go chasing a ball all over the place you just throw it it attaches make that save then after you get to analyze where on the where you're making that save on the on your blocker side it's like a glove side yeah you, if you if you're not catching it properly it's probably hitting your palm hitting your tee it's not going straight into the pocket and it's kind of the same thing like this so on the blocker save most of the time I'll take it off for demonstration I like to keep my uh, saves right here right in the core where your where your hand is on the other side and that's where you get most of the, the power from from the puck hitting the, the blocker board and going out to a little bit where you can see how that separation where you want most of the shots in here there so when you guys are next on the ice try to work on just taking pucks right into this area because because if it hits here it might hit deflect deflect near your pads you're gonna have a bad rebound it hits over here you're gonna have a perfect rebound most of the time you're gonna deflect it into the air or maybe all also out of the glass get a whistle for your team nice break you get you get to have water 
chill a little bit, then back into the play. So the reason that I like the blocker sleeve, like with this, if you throw it off the wall, you, you make a sleeve, and it's, say for instance, it hits here. During a game, like it's like whatever, it's fine. But during practices, you wanna make sure that you're getting the best reps in. And you wanna make sure that's in this vicinity. If you have trouble with that, you guys could put tape on this, put tape down down here and up at the top, and just work on throwing the ball off the wall and getting it right in the right spot where you guys control the puck much better. But say if the puck's in tight and you have to just make that save, it's fine if it hits off here. I wanna just tell you a little bit about more drills that you guys could do with this at home. Of course, you guys do your uh, regular hand-eye drills like you're, uh, you're just throwing it off the wall. You can do butterflies with it. If you have, uh, if you have something that you put on the floor, put put something down there. Throw it, do a butterfly, catch it. But also, one thing, when you're throwing the ball off the wall, try to hold your feet until like the puck's like really uh, the ball is really close. So you, so when you guys are on the ice, you guys would be able to hold your feet much longer. You guys shoots high, and if you drop. It's fine if you would drop, but if you keep your feet, if you hold your feet and you react to that save, it's going to be a much better result than dropping right before the shot comes, then flailing your arms, and it's just going to be a disaster in the puck's in. You use this with the, the BOSU ball, a balance board, whatever you have. You do, you throw off the wall, run, shuffle back and forth making the saves, do a whole bunch of stuff. I'll show you guys. Just a quick pre, uh, some quick stuff that I'll be using with it. Just, just simple stuff that you guys could do at home. So the blocker sleeve is eighty nine dollars Canadian. That's a fair price with everything that's in the package of the balls and the actual blocker sleeve. So here they have two different sizes: small and large. Small is for like a junior size blocker, and I guess senior would be for your intermediate and your um, senior blockers, of course. Here are three simple drills that you guys could use with a blocker sleeve at home or anywhere. Make sure when you're doing this, you have, proper, you have a proper stance, proper head trajectory, and you're tracking the ball all the way in. The reason why I started off with uh, throwing the ball off to my uh, glove side and catching it with my glove hand is to get my eyes warmed up then we're going to move into using the blocker sleeve. We're going to be in our butterfly. So we're going to be standing up and we're going to be in our butterfly to get both uh, safe selections. When you're buying this product, you are getting a great product. That's why it is a little bit more expensive. The manufacturing on this product is unbelievable. It's not like a cheap pair of pads where you get something and all the Velcro starts fraying and all of like the the bindings are worn out. The balls are great. The bag's unbelievable. You get to carry it anywhere you guys want. Such a clever idea. Because if you want, you could um, put this over for a couple of times, just th throw the rubber ball off. It won't stick. Throw it off. Then after you guys get to see, after you guys get down, making the the save in the right area on your blocker, you guys can get, start controlling it in the right spot, like into the corners, up high, over the glass. So that was my review on the blocker sleeve. I hope that you guys liked it. Head over up to my link tree where you guys could find more details about it where you guys can click the link head over there if you guys would like to buy one i do think it's a great um great product 
I, I have felt that my blocker hand was way better when I was when I was back on the ice like a couple days ago after using this product. Thank you for watching this video. I just want to say thank you again to Blocker Steve and uh, Marco over with them for sending me their product. I really appreciate that. And I hope that you guys use this and it helps your game. Let's optimize your performance.